welcome to Izzy's day off from college. It's lunchtime already. I am cooking a stir fry. So far, it's looking like that. I've got courgettes, mushrooms, yellow peppers, and I think I'm going to leave it at that so there's not too much. I'm going to use some mock abalone, which is gluten, vegetarian, fake meat. And I'm going to use oolong noodles that I bought in Cardiff recently, Japanese style. I don't know whether to use one or two. I mean, that doesn't look enough, but. Oh, I'll just chuck it all in, we can have leftovers. Right, let's leave those to soften in a minute. And there's the fake meat added as well, sizzling away. Izzy seems to be feeling all groggy today. She got up really late and she just hasn't woken up properly ever since. We've got a bit of a mission on today. Izzy's kind of destroyed her phone battery again by using it for an extended period while it was plugged in, which the guy that we take it to see says that's what causes that to happen. It overheats apparently. The last time it happened, it was a heat wave. So I don't know how it's happened now. Maybe it was on the train or something by a heater. I don't know. Anyway, it's lifting the screen slowly up <laughs> and it's not holding its charge. So she needs to do that. And I am also gonna try and get this choir piece recorded. I need to play the flute for it. Just record myself playing a flute line with a backing track in headphones, not on the video, but just in my ears and get that sent off. I will try to get that done today, hopefully, if the day doesn't get away from me like it has been doing. My lip is healing. I have a, like a, a white thingy, but it's not hurting anymore and the swelling seems to have gone down, so it should be all right. I could do with going to a shop later. I definitely need some bread. We have got bread, but I noticed it was a little bit stale yesterday when I was toasting it. So I don't want to give Izzy stale bread sandwiches for college tomorrow. Mm, poor Izzy, I'm gonna buy her some fresh bread, nice and fluffy. I need a couple of other items as well. So I don't need to do a big shop. I need to do a little shop. So I'll probably just go to very local shops for that. Oh, and one more thing that we need to do, which I can't film, for obvious reasons is Izzy has not yet used a cash machine you know an ATM so I'm going to teach her how to do that because I think the man that's going to fix the phone only takes cash if I remember rightly so now is a brilliant time to supervise her first go at that it's like a little milestone into adulthood isn't it Aww. oh you long noodles are ready look all big fat and squirmy a lot of the subscribers have said that they wouldn't fancy it either because it would remind them of worms but Oh, they're lovely and succulent. I love them. Ta da! Here's my little lunches. Look at my lovely Chinese melamine bowls. Gonna enjoy that now with Izzy. That was yummy. I'm eating a nice lolly. I'm watching Eight Miles from Home on the telly. Right now, I can't see a thing. That's because there's a giant ice lolly in your eyes. And it got really seared apart and really oh, bright. Nice. Enjoyed that lunch. I'm so glad I took the time to make a proper meal. If I eat a tin of soup and bread or a tin of something, it's just not the same kind of satisfied that I get at the end of eating it. If it's got a good load of fresh veg in it, I do feel definitely better like I've eaten something properly. But anyway, it's five to three now already. Where's the day going? So this is just quickly getting changed and we're gonna go out and get her phone sorted and do the bank machine thingy. Well, we've been to the market and we've shown the man. I got Izzy to do the talking to him and she did. So I was pleased about that, his little teen development milestone. Um, it's fine. He said, have you been using it plugged in? And she went, mm. he said, no, you can't do that. <laughs> it breaks the battery. So, um, but here is the thing, it's only £25 to get it fixed and like it only happens like once a year so I might as well. She thinks it's a good investment <laughs> to be able to use it plugged in. To be honest it's hard not to use a phone plugged in isn't it because we run the battery down and then need to use it while it's charging but anyway right so we've got about 20 minutes or so before that's ready for collection so we had to get some cash out because he doesn't take cards and I completely forgot I was vlogging went to another shop and bought some goodies and we're going to go and check out a shop now that does discounted confectionery because I'm still on my search for my chocolates for the Christmas tree because I want to festoon it and eat it leading up to Christmas Izzy's now dancing in the middle of the street as well she's, she's weird like that <laughs> Passing the time here while I'm vlogging. Yeah. Oh, well, those aren't the sweeties. Oh, mm. oh look. Oh, I'm very fond of the whole nut chocolate. Two pound it for 600 grams. Mm. I'm going to resist it though. 
couldn't resist the £1.50 caterpillar cake. I can tell Izzy's impressed. She's been looking at the meerkats. Yes, I have. Look at this wall of sweets. Loads. But I'm resisting. Well, I don't want you to resist. <laughs> well, I am. I'm looking for tree decks, but I don't think there are any. <laughs> Look, we've got a caterpillar cake. We're back home, as you can see. Some nutritional yeast flakes, which I haven't had for ages. They, they add that lovely yeasty flavour, but not salty to savoury food, very nice. I love it in mashed potato especially. And I also managed to get reduced to clear 79p some corn cakes. They had two packets left in the reduced to clear. So I got both. And I did not do the liquid hand soap thing on my glasses this time and they steamed up and I thought they'd still be okay from yesterday. I haven't cleaned my glasses or anything since so I don't know why it's not still working. But anyway, there's that. I also bought, and you won't believe it, a new charging lead. I have a huge collection of charging leads for my phone, but every single one of them has gone intermittent and I was beginning to question it was the charging port on my phone, but the man tested it out and he said, it'll be fine, you just need a new lead. So that was a fiver. I'm gonna record that flute piece in a minute, but before I do, I'm gonna have a slice of Mr. Caterpillar with a cup of tea. I've had my snack and cup of tea now, well most of the tea. I decided to make a start on the bum end because it just seemed rude to eat his face. I'm gonna go and tackle that choir piece now. I'm filming this on my GoPro in the cellar because <laughs> I'm trying to set up um, a way to film myself doing this piece. So I've got the backing track on here. Oh, hang on. There we are, that's the track. So I'm gonna play that through my headphones, which is gonna be on. I've got a light there and I've got a light there and I've got a little backlight there. I don't think that's doing much, but Oh well, and I've got a, a light there, so hopefully it will look all right. I'm terrible at lighting. It's something I just can't seem to get the hang of. Say hello, this is what I see when I'm vlogging. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Anyway, I'm gonna stop procrastinating and I'm just gonna go for it. say it's very weird playing the flute with headphones on because all I can hear is the recorded part and although I can hear my flute it's not the same as hearing it without headphones on because there's some blockage and so it is a bit weird. Um, I found I had to move a stand closer because I was getting closer and closer to read it with my reading glasses on and I was getting distracted because I could see out of my peripheral vision that I was slightly out of shot. My flute was like going off the end of the monitor screen and there's nothing more distracting when you're trying to read the music and, you know, listen to the part. But anyway, I've done it. I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna get that sent off now. It's about half past six in the evening now. I've got that sent off. Yay! Feeling pleased with myself. I actually accomplished something to do with music today. <laughs> yes, I made a contribution to somebody. Oh, thank goodness for that. Um, anyway, I really need to go shopping. It's already nearly half past six and uh, I need to cook dinner. I'm so tempted to get ready meals. Now I'm gonna go to Lidl's. I've decided they do do a ready meal that Izzy likes. So I think I'm gonna have a bit of a cheaty dinner tonight. I've arrived at Lidl's. I forgot to do the hand soap thing on the glasses, didn't I? It's steamed up already. I don't need vegetables for change. I've nicked Izzy's mask today. Don't I look nice in it? She said I could. Oh, bread. Can't see a flipping thing, but I've walked past it, I think. Always do this. My tail to you, Ian, and Al, and Kai. We are happy to help you at another checkout. I'm just going to take my glasses off. I think that's the best situation. I can't believe I forgot that pack. Right. I think she'd like rolls. Let's get some rolls. It's only for one day's worth because she's got one more day in college this week and then she'll need fresh then by next Monday. 
celery. I don't have any of that. Let's get some of that. I can go in the baby seat. Now the mask is riding up and going into my eyes. Oh, I thought, oh, no, 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 no. oh, no, that's terrible. <laughs> Take that off as well. Oh, what a to-do. Might help if I look at my shopping list. I'll try not to lose it this time. Hmm. I'm looking in the bargain pile. And look, 20p for the corn on the cobs. I'll have those. I've picked up some coffee beans and I found in Lidl's chockies for the tree. So I grabbed two packets. Those were 99 pence a packet. I've got a couple of ready meals as well. And um, I've had to go for a bit of a cheap brand of decaffeinated coffee because I didn't have a new that I like. I'm sure it's better than nothing. And those were 1.99 for six cans. Uh, I really need loo roll. Mm, that's too big. No, I don't want the scented stuff. And I don't want the really cheap stuff. Oh, that's Kitchen Town anyway. Oh well, we can manage another day or three. I'm queuing up now. I didn't film everything because it's a little bit crowded and I didn't want to hang about, you know, in the pandemic and all, and get in people's way. I am back and I'm wheeling my ill-gotten gains. Well, they're not ill-gotten. My gains back into the kitchen to unpack. I was thinking I'll just do a haul and then I saw the state of the work surface. I had a little bit of washing up to do and then I begged Isabel to bring down any empties and crockery from her room and that happened. I think there are four lunch boxes there from four different days. Mm. And this has still got cake carnage on it. I'll clear that bit. I'm going to film these first because I'm going to get Izzy's in the microwave. So she's got a ham and mushroom tagliatelle creamy meal thingy. And I've got a prawn tikka masala and I've had these before. <laughs> they are very yummy. Oh, they've got cardamom pods in. Cardamom pods are always nicer in ready meals than when I cook them. I don't think I ever cook things for quite long enough for them to go soft and lovely. Here it is all laid out. I've got six cans of Pepsi Cherry Max, jar of green olives, White rolls for Izzy's pack lunch. Celery, cottage cheese, Izzy loves it. She just eats it for a snack. I got some of those creme caramel thingies. And I went a bit crazy in the frozen section. Got some halloumi fries that I've never ever had before. Also, never had it before. Mushroom and Stilton Wellingtons. They looked rather like yummy. They're vegetarian, those things, by the way. And also, mm -hmm, uh, something else I've never had before. Porcini mushroom croquettes. Also, I'm a bit dubious about this brand of coffee here, but this decaffeinated coffee, I've got that, it's instant. Got some coffee beans, two packets of tree decorations, which I shall enjoy putting on. Some sliced gouda, which is hiding under the 20p sweet corn. I really don't know where today's gone. It's absolutely flown by. I'm not sure quite what I achieved in it, but anyway, I seem to have been busy all the way through it. If you have enjoyed this video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow and I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you would like to follow more of our story, do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.